Hi, kids. Today, we will learn how different animals adapt to their environment. Let's start. Kids, let's first see what is adaptation. Special characteristics of plants and animals that enable them to live in a particular environment are termed as adaptation. There are various types of adaptations. Let's learn about a few of them. Camouflage. Survival can become a challenging task in the wild, especially if you're smaller or slower than the possible predators. This is why many animal species have developed different ways to camouflage, that is, blending itself with the environment. This enables the animal to hide from predators and also to catch up its prey. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Let's have a look at some examples. This is a stick insect. It completely blends with its environment. That is it looks like a stick itself. This way it can hide from its predators and can catch its prey without making its prey getting to know of its presence. Now let's see more examples of camouflage. This is an owl. It completely blends itself with the trunk of a tree. This is a caterpillar camouflaging itself on the leaves. Here we have another example of camouflage. It's hard to find this toad in these leaves. Can you find them? So this is the way this toad hides itself from its predators and can also catch its prey. Here is a small seahorse camouflaging itself in aquatic plants. Here is another insect camouflaging itself as a leaf. Now let's learn another type of adaptation in animals. It is hibernation. Some animals hibernate, that is, go into deep sleep, so they can survive throughout the cold season. When the weather is freezing and the food is scarce. Hibernation truly is a clever survival mechanism. Now let's see some animals that can hibernate. Wood frogs, common poor wills, ground squirrels, hamsters, bats, bears, garter snakes, and snails are some animals that hibernate. Now let's see another way of adaptation. Migration. Animals travel a long way from one place to another for the sake of better weather or breeding or better food. Animal migration is the traveling of long distances in search of new habitat. It can be for breeding, it can be for feeding, or it can be for better environments or climates. The trigger for the migration may be local climate, local availability of food, or the season of the year. Bird migration is regular seasonal journeys undertaken by many species of birds. Bird movement include those made in response to changes in food availability, habitat, or weather. Now let's learn some fun facts about the migrating animals. 
The whale that migrates the longest is the gray whale, which migrates about 12,500 miles. The insect that migrates the longest is the desert locust, which travels about 2,800 miles. The butterfly that migrates the longest is a monarch butterfly. It migrates up to 2,000 miles. The land animals that migrates the longest is a caribou, which travels about 700 miles. Now let's learn about some animals that migrate. The Canadian geese fly north every spring to enjoy the long, sunny days and fly south every fall to find warm weather and food. Here are some more examples. African elephant. It migrates to find food during the wet and dry seasons. Bats. Bats are the only flying mammal. Some bats, like the geese, migrate. Many birds, like the bobolink, the arctic tern, migrate. Crab. A crab is an animal with a shell. Many crabs migrate to reproduce. Gray whale. A baleen whale, that is a bottom feeder, migrates long distances. So kids, today we learned what is adaptation and some kinds of adaptations. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.